Hey everybody, welcome into this edition of One Nation Weather, and that purple area on your screen is going to be the zone where we're looking for some severe weather over the course of the next couple of days here. So today, or excuse me, this afternoon, this evening, tonight, and then into the day tomorrow, as well as into tomorrow night. That's when we're looking for the potential of severe weather in this area, and really all threats are going to be on the risk with heavy rain, gusty winds, um, lightning, of course, we've got the hail, we've got the tornadoes, all of them coming in. Of course, this is the afternoon of Tuesday, April 4th, and here's a look at the active infrared satellite image where we kind of have two aspects of the system, and I'm actually going to get my little clicker on for you here so that you can kind of see what's going on. In this zone right here, you can see, and I'm circling right now, this is a zone where we're getting some snow, but on this eastern side right here, this blow up of thunderstorms that's been making its way through Illinois and into Wisconsin now. That line as it heads over Lake Michigan, it has had a severe thunderstorm. Watch on it. Wouldn't be shocked if that gets carried over into parts of Michigan as, a, as those storms could sustain themselves, maybe even bring in some water spouts. And then we have a lot of energy back into the southern plains right now, not necessarily producing thunderstorms yet, but it is very soon to do so. Now here's a look at today's severe weather risk. I do want to point out to you that this is very similar to what we had last week, though it is stretched a little bit further west. So here's your forecast for Tuesday and Tuesday night for you here. The risk goes all the way from the UP of Michigan in that upper peninsula all the way back through south central texas with strong damaging wind gusts 60 to 70 miles per hour on the table very large hail in some cases up to three inches in diameter in that northern zone primarily but all the way back into portions of texas we could see at least some one to two inch diameter hail widely isolated flooding events but i think a main threat with this is going to be several tornadoes including a few ef2 plus tornadoes of course the best chance for that is in going to be in the orange and red zone but anywhere in here you could see a pretty strong tornado so keep it in mind if you live in any of those zones in a place like iowa city iowa for today and tonight damaging winds large hail tornadoes a five to a six are so pretty high up there on the scale heavy rain and lightning also a threat flooding not as big of a risk for you there, but in a place like Little Rock, damaging winds and heavy rain are going to be a 5 out of 8. Large handling tornadoes are 4 out of 8, so again, a middle-level threat. You could have another tornado like what you saw very recently. Um, lightning is a 6 out of 8, and flooding is a 2 out of 8 for you there, so something to keep an eye on. So here's a look at our Southern Plains risk for you here. You can see... As we work our way into the evening hours, 7, 8, 9 o'clock this evening, we'll get some of those showers and thunderstorms to spark off. Wouldn't be shocked if we had some storms prior to this. Notice that there's going to be some supercells that maybe work their way up through Missouri around midnight time frame. But it's going to take until about 1, 2 a.m. for some of these work, bigger storms to get going in a line that's going to make its way through portions of Iowa and Missouri. And then the new line will develop right around daybreak for the day tomorrow, as you can see here. This is forecast hour 34. This is around sunrise time tomorrow. This is when this line really gets going. So this is why the risk is also going to shift into tomorrow as well. As you can see, places like Little Rock might not even be impacted until at least about early to mid-morning for you here. And those storms will stretch all the way up into the Ohio Valley. Here's a look at your northern plains risk for you here. Again, you can see very heavy snowfall, first of all, getting going in this zone. But here's a look at what this looked like this morning. The model's doing a pretty good job showing that some storms we're going to get going here. This is right now about where we're talking about. You can see a few of these storms trying to work their way up into portions of the Wisconsin back through Illinois. Some of the stronger storms making their way over Lake Michigan for you there. A little underdone, but you can see later this afternoon into the evening hours, this is as we had 7, 8, 9 o'clock, bigger storms, some supercells. You can even see some of the hook shapes on some of these cells working their way up and producing some very heavy snow as well into the Dakotas and northern Minnesota as they work their way up. And you can see that line developing further south. That line is going to continue to track east. Notice some of those thunderstorms working their way through Michigan this evening. Several rounds in some cases and that's why we're looking at a slight flooding potential out of the heavy rain as well there's tomorrow's severe weather risk you can see a level three risk a numerous risk from northeast arkansas all the way up into portions of michigan and ohio goes all the way back to the gulf coast and as well as into portions of new york for you here so again areas that aren't affected today will get affected overnight tonight and into the day tomorrow. Large hail up to 2 inches in diameter in the northern zone, closer to 1 inch in other areas. Gusty winds 60 to 70 miles per hour. Several tornadoes in the northern zone and one or two further south for you here. Detroit, Michigan, you can see damaging winds, tornadoes, large hail, heavy rain, lightning, and flooding all on the table for you here. I think the best risk are going for large hail, heavy rain, and lightning, though, with tornadoes and damaging winds still there, though. Flooding risk is going to be in the spotty to scattered range for you here, all the way from the Ohio Valley back into portions of East Texas. And then our severe weather risk shifts eastward a little bit in portions of the Western Carolinas, portions of Virginia, and into southern New York for you here. New York City getting in on this, Trenton, New Jersey getting in on this, 
P Philadelphia, PA for you there, Washington, D.C., all of those areas, and then as well as a small zone back there in portions of southern central Texas. But then the big story is going to be the stalling front that we get as we go into Friday, where rain is going to be likely across the southeast. I will be highlighting that in another video upcoming soon. But for now, everybody stay safe out there. Here's the credits.